Hi, my name is Siti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, we're going to be looking at having some fun online while you're having your video meetings. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now this video is in response to a tweet I saw this morning where Bonnie was asking, can we have fun? I want some Snapchat filters. Well, that is perfectly possible. Now the solution I'm showing you today will work for both Mac and Windows. So once you've installed this, you can use Snapchat filters in any of your video conferencing calls. Now I'm going to demonstrate this with Meet. Now the first thing you'll need to do is open up your browser and search for the Snap camera. Now once you've got the Snap camera, you're going to go to the website. Now once on the website, you're going to click on that download button and this is going to send you down. It gives you a little bit of information about the system requirements and this will also show you if this will work on your device or not. Now once you've read everything, go ahead and scroll down and then tick this box. Now they are also asking for an email address for marketing purposes, but you do not have to fill this out. I didn't fill it out because I'm not a big fan of receiving marketing emails. Now if you do like to to get more information about their updates or any of their marketing information then by all means pop your email address in there. Now at the bottom you're going to also have to take this CAPTCHA, we're going to take that we're not a robot and then you can choose to download it for Mac or download for PC. Now once you've downloaded that file you're going to run it, install everything and then once the program is installed you can go ahead and open this program. Now it will not work if you already have a Google meeting open. So go ahead and close down your browsers and then this way you can start afresh. Now I've already installed this program so let's go ahead and open up the Snap Camera. Now here you can see the Snap Camera is on and immediately we can see what it does. It applies one of those Snapchat filters. Now there are many filters to search from so you can see I've got the Scallywag Pirate Hat but we also have the all famous potato and many many more. Now one of my favorites that I used with students is the spyware. Now this is great when you're trying to set a context and make the lesson a little bit more fun. Imagine you have a group of 20, 30, 40 students and they're all jumping into a Google Meet and this is what they see. You can immediately set the mood of that lesson and maybe even do a little bit of acting. You could say that you're being followed or that you have no idea what's going on and you found this footage online and use these filters as a way to tell a story to your students. They will love it, it adds a bit of fun and it just makes the lesson a lot more lively. So once you've decided on a filter, let's go ahead and start a Google meeting and let's see what this looks like. Now in order to demonstrate this, I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you the scallywag or the pirate hat to demonstrate what it looks like in a meeting. Now I'm going to open up a new meet in my browser. So let's go ahead and go to meet.google.com. There we go. And we're going to create a demo meeting. So let's go ahead and click on join or start a new meeting. And I'm going to title this demo snap. Continue. Now before you join the meeting, you're going to want to select the right camera. Now because we're running Snap Camera, we have to select that camera. Now you can do that down below here where you see those three dots. Let's go ahead and click on that and go into our settings. At the top, we're going to switch to video and then select the Snap Camera. The Snap Camera feed is coming into Google Meet. I'm going to click on Done. I'm going to mute ourselves and join this meeting. I now have a join code that I can share with others and I'm going to join from my mobile device so you can see exactly what that looks like. So let's go ahead and open up our mobile device. Here on mobile I'm now going to input that meeting code. There we go, we're going to just type in demo snap. That is the nickname of the meeting and then we're going to join that meeting. To place that phone right there. And you will see that I can now join this meeting. I'm going to mute myself. And what you'll see is that the person that the mobile phone sees has this filter applied to them. Now I can also jump back into Snap Camera, the program, and then change it halfway through the meeting. So if I switch this now, it automatically changes on that mobile view. This will work with all your students, regardless of the device they're on. So if they are on Chromebooks, then they will also see this feed. However, in order for you to use the filters, you will have to install the Snap Camera first on Windows or Mac. 
Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, let me know in that comment section below. How are you going to use this for your lessons? And what ideas have you got about using filters to maybe introduce a lesson or make a lesson more fun, more engaging for your students? I'd love to hear about it in that comment section below. Once you've left your comments, scroll back up, make sure to hit subscribe, bell notification, otherwise you won't get notified of future videos. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.